MachineTutorials.com. Hey, what's up? This is St. Joe, MachineTutorials.com, here with a video for the Ableton Live users that are using Machine 2.0 and trying to get your MIDI drag and drop to work correctly so that you can actually have your MIDI inside of Ableton and arrange your sequence how you want to have it trigger machine properly. Because you know by default, let's say if I got this basic little pattern. So I got that, and let's say I want to drag this drum pattern, or this group, let's say I want to drag that into Ableton. Now by default, if I just go over here and grab this MIDI, you see, it's going to grab, it's going to create multiple tracks. You know, it, it splits them out, and that's that's usually not what I want if I'm trying to grab the whole group. Now if I go in and solo it, and I just want specific you know parts out of the group I can do that now you could leave it like this if you want to and go in and route the MIDI however you want but let's say we don't want it like that I'm just undo let's say we actually want everything to drop on one channel so the first thing you have to do is go make sure you're on the sound tab in the channel page and go over to MIDI if you look by default you'll notice that each one of these has a different MIDI channel now don't worry about the destination but just realize that the MIDI that you drag out of machine is based on the output of the sound, the MIDI output of the sound. So these settings actually matter. So you can see those channels are different. So what we're going to do is find the ones that we need and actually change the channel. So this one's going to, we're going to leave that one on one. We're going to put them all to channel one. Just put them all to the same channel. It really doesn't matter which channel you use. You know, because you can set up the actual routing once you're inside of Ableton. But if you want them all together, just make sure you put them on the same channel. And I think it's actually quickest to just go for the whole group. Do a shift, hold down shift and click so you can select the whole group and make sure they're all set to one. And just to just in case, sometimes I do that and just to make sure they all set. And now if I look, you can see they're all on channel one. Now they'll actually drag together. So if I were to come over here and drag it. You'll see, but you notice they're all on C3. Everything's on C3. So there's another setting that you have to do to make sure it works properly. So we're going to delete that. The next thing you want to do is has to do with the transpose knob. So you want to go in to each one and transpose the notes. So this one is going to be, we're going to leave that alone because it's going to be C3. The next one, we're going to go up one. And this one, we're going to go up to, and so on. All right, so now we got those transposed. So now you see, if I actually go in and drag it, if we look at the MIDI data, you can now see that the notes are actually all spread out. Now you're still, you're not done yet, because you'll notice if I go over here and I actually play this, I actually go over into Ableton and set the MIDI output to machine and say we want it on whatever track we'll say track one it doesn't really matter what track you use we'll say track one at this point and you'll see all it's doing is triggering whatever sound is active right now and that's the kibasa so you have to also go to the group make sure you go to the group tab on the input and activate MIDI so you activate MIDI input, you give it whatever channel you want to trigger this group on. And another thing you want to be aware of, if you've dragged the MIDI out of machine and your root note is C3, you need to set the root note right here. Because by default, you can see it's set to C1. So we need to change that to C3. Otherwise, it won't trigger anything. If we play it, it's just going to trigger nothing. So we're going to go up here to C3. All right. So now we got that set to C3 so it can trigger properly. We have a MIDI channel set to 1. So go over here, set your MIDI channel to 1. Or like I said, you can choose whatever MIDI channel you want. It depends on what group you're using. But now we'll be able to actually trigger this kit properly. So that's pretty much how you set it up. And of course, that 
it's specifically for when you're doing a full group. Now, when you're doing just an individual file, it's a little bit easier because you don't have to do the whole grouping and the transposing and everything. Like if I just want to drag the MIDI out for this flute, you would set the input on the sound itself. So you would give the sound a MIDI channel. Let's say we want it to be active on channel two. We'll make this one channel two. And then we'd go over to the actual group right here. And you can see my MIDI is right there. So let's stop this one and let's go over here and we're just going to play this. So now we go here, set this to machine and we're going to put it on two. So if you're just dragging the individual sound, it's a little bit easier because you can just drag it out and set the actual MIDI channel for that particular sound. But if you want to do a whole group, like say if you got drums or chops, then you want to make sure you go through the group and set the input active. Make sure you set the root note. And then also on the sounds, you want to make sure in the MIDI output that they have the same channel. That way you can drag them in as a whole group. Now, if you want to drag them in separately, don't worry about that. Just give them different channels and you can drag them out as separate channels. But if you want to drag it as a whole loop together via MIDI, you want to make sure they have the same MIDI channels. And then in order to make them trigger properly across the keys, you want to make sure you do that transpose. So again, your first one's going to be zero because it's not going to transpose. It's going to be at C3. And then you're going to go up from there. So, of course, if you got any questions, let me know. This is St. Joe, MachineTutorials.com. Peace.